Okay, I officially have a dog. Yes. Something has happened. I found a dog in Durango, Colorado. Caught me with his eyes. It's him, it's him, it's him, it's him. Just happened to look, happened to have service here at this campground and uh, I was instantly smitten. So let's go meet this dog. This could be the one, let's go see. deciphering which one is which so he's the all black one the all black the one. all black one no yeah. white on his face correct at all. all right yeah. i know which one that okay is. right yeah. so um and it, it just they have that they have that look i mean it could be lab and, and yeah Billy collie but i just think it's hey really buddy cool. you want to hi hey. oh yeah sure hi. There hey, you go. Buddy. Should we get a blanket and toys? Oh my sure. goodness. Alright. Little dude. What are you doing, buddy? Hey, little guy. Is that your tail wagon? Is that your tail wagon? What are you doing? What a cutie. Ah, yes, you are. Yes, you are a cutie. Yes, you are a little chubby. Are you a little chubby guy? Chubby. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. You're cuter than your pictures. Yeah, what's not to love, huh? I know, right? What's not to love about you? Oh, so one. much work. They are a lot of work. <laughs> so much work. What is it? What? Are you excited? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. What do we what what do we do next? What's our next steps? I mean, I, say yes. I, I, I yes. Okay. A thousand percent. Yes. Right. They're gonna they're gonna make a contract. And okay. They'll come back here and take your picture. Okay. And sign your life away and pay. Yeah, I know. And all that stuff. Hi. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much. You bet. Thank you. Uh huh. Okay. So what happened? Everybody, meet Wyatt. Wyatt is my new adventure buddy. Yes, you are. Wyatt is eight weeks old. He is part Australian Shepherd, part, I don't know, Pit, part maybe Lab. 100% cute. Yes, yes you are, sir. I'm in love. It's also super smart. What a day. Drove all the way to Durango from basically uh, almost New Mexico. Got a dog. <laughs> We've already been on some adventures together. We went to Walmart. He picked out a crate. He's so cute. Oh my God. Uh, it's supposed to be really cold tonight. It's gonna be like in the uh, high 20s. That's gonna be cold. So I've got blankets for him. I've got hot hands. That'd be fine. Might even bring him up in the bed with me. I don't know, we'll see. So prepare for the, the puppy channel is basically what I'm telling you. Uh, I, I mean, yes, of course, there's going to be adventures and all that, and he is going to be the next adventure dog, but for a while, it's going to be the puppy channel. Hope you're okay with that. 
So I'm in this interesting situation. Um, I've got to wait till Friday, today is Sunday, uh, before he can get his third booster shot uh, at the Humane Society. Um, I just don't know where to stay. And I guess this is going to sort of alter my adventures for this trip. Not in a bad way. It's just that, you know, having a puppy is definitely going to limit things that I can go, mountains that I can explore, and national parks and stuff like that. So, I don't know. This is um, our first full day together. This morning we've already done some training on off-leash hiking. He did great. Um, he knows how to sit now, so we taught him how to sit this morning. That's right, you know how to sit. Listen man, those stinky treats, you can teach a dog anything. So, I guess that's where we're at right now, just trying to figure things out. Not a bad, not a bad way to be though. Get to hang out with puppy. He's so cute. Hi friends, I am excited, and let me tell you why. I have been here at Navajo State Park for two weeks. Two weeks, that is a long time, and it's very expensive. It's like $28 a night. The reason why I stayed here is because, well, nobody else is here, and so that gave me the time to train this guy to walk on a leash and to obviously walk off a leash. So I thought for a while, with having him, I was gonna have to plan everything completely differently, which I am. I was gonna go west to all the national parks and all that kind of stuff. Uh, clearly, I'm not gonna do that because what's the point of bringing a puppy to the national parks? It's not, it doesn't make sense. So, the new plan is to zigzag across Colorado, just moving slowly northwardly. Northwardly. I think it's a word count it. So <laughs> finally I'm gonna go on an adventure tomorrow. Tomorrow morning as a matter of fact. We're gonna go to Colorado Springs area. There's a place called Canyon City. It's a little bit west of there. I've got a campground for 10 days. So in that 10 days I'm gonna go explore Garden of the Gods. I'm gonna go explore Seven Falls. I'm gonna go explore mm, I don't know some sort of incline, the Manitou incline, Manitou Springs. I've got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff on my radar. And a lot of it's dog friendly. So it's been a while since I've had to search for dog friendly things. Um, and so it's, that's exciting to do. So I thought I would share that. Uh, tomorrow morning we leave bright and early to go from very southern Colorado, almost New Mexico, into almost Colorado Springs. About five hours, about 250 miles. As beautiful as this place is, uh, it's time. Time to go. I'm ready to go. One more beautiful spot, one more beautiful sunset, and we're out. Right, buddy? You ready to go explore? You ready to go? You ready to go? Hell yeah, let's go exploring. Also, in other news, can we just talk about this sunburn? This red, just red. I'm so sunburned. It's been so cold my entire trip. It's been in the 20s and like 50s. The last two days it's been um, 75 in Colorado with like no clouds. Hot! So sunburned.
It is going to take a lot out of me to say these next few sentences without breaking down in tears. You see, I find myself one of those fortunate ones who have found their soul dog. That dog that is more than just a four-legged friend. More than just family. More than just a dog. And I had the fortune to spend more than 15 years of my life with him. To adventure with him. To explore three countries. 32 national parks. Thousands of miles of trails. And countless mountain summits. I had the fortune of forging an identity based in black hair, endless energy, persistent curiosity, and a lifetime of exploring the point and counterpoint in each other. And then one day, during a tropical storm in Florida, I held him close for his final sleep. I relive that moment more than should be considered healthy. But that, my friends, is life. And then along came Wyatt. Completely unexpected, completely unplanned, a pair of eyes looking back at me through a computer screen on a Humane Society social media feed. And here he is, exactly what I didn't realize I needed. Goofy, awkward, loving, a never-ending ball of joy that makes me feel something again. I know that my only soul dog will be forever ingrained in me, and I know that he always hated new puppy energy, but deep down, I know he would approve. Until next time, know that it is okay to move forward with your life after loss. Find whatever it takes to make you smile again. Find your own Wyatt. And keep exploring life with an open mind.